Hello Lola's, welcome to my channel. Guys, I haven't called you guys Lola's in a while. Um, you know why I call you guys Lola's? And a lot of you guys rem might remember this. I was reading a book um, of this lady. Um, it was a book by Nora Roberts where she used to house sit for these very wealthy people. And she'd always have her binoculars and she would watch from these high rise buildings. She would watch people and she was a people watcher and she would look around and make stories up about their lives and what she thought they were and what she thought they did for a living. She, she studied their comings and goings and, you know, everything that she could get from that little view that she would get those stolen moments of these people lives that she got um, and she would make up all these elaborate stories and so and her name was Lola I think and then so I just said start calling you guys Lola's because it's kind of like you guys are peeking in on the creators lives a little bit or their fantasy or whatever and a lot of us when we look at me I'm speaking of me as being a viewer now when I look at the people that I'm subscribed to I kind of make up these stories. Some of you guys say, oh, I don't think that far. I don't blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, I ain't talking about you. Shut the hell up. I'm talking about the people that sit there and be like, man, she 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 changed that baby like the nurse. She must be working in the medical field. Oh, man, she's a neat fanatic. I bet you her house is like spotless. Some of you guys, when you guys be doing stuff, I'd be like, oh my gosh, she's OCD. But, you know, and you just make up these stories. It's not like it's a bad thing. Sometimes it is bad. I'd be like, oh girl, I, I bet you you know what I mean? But that's why I'd be like, hello Lola's. So don't be mad. That's why. Hello Lola's. <laughs> anyway guys, um, that is not what the video is about. Well, I don't know. But if you would, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you Click the bell. Also, if you want to join the chat box, the link is in the description bar. Because if you're on an iPhone, you won't see the join button. If so, if if not, you can see the join button. Just go ahead and click that. It is a dollar and ninety nine cents to join the chat box, um, and it is also um, you do have to be eighteen years old or older to join. Um, tonight we will be doing our second live stream. Um, it is going to be hot and popping. We're going to have fun like we did the last time. I have some more topics and stuff lined up. Um, so, yeah, definitely if you want to join, go ahead and do that now. Um, <clears throat> I am going to change her into her clothes. And one of the reasons why I the start, decided to do my lives in the chat box because it's a little bit more private and I really like it and I, I think it gives you know the other people a, a good place too when they're um when they're in there and some people feel more comfortable chatting in there as well so um it's not a place where you know you sit and you bash folks and all that and stuff we we laugh we talk we have a good time and um what was I going to say? Oh, and the people that remain silent in there, they other people don't even know they're in there um, unless they, they talk. But anyway, this is Ephraim by Melanie Hess, painted by myself. She turned out, she was a baby that was painting, and I was like, man, I'm not liking this. This is not working because before this, I painted a light-skinned baby of a lighter complexion. Of this baby which is now um, I believe she's still with Kamara um, <clears throat> she and I, I thought man she's not turning out like the first one and then in the end she ended up being absolutely gorgeous and I loved her and I said she she has to be my baby and so I've been trying to protect myself by not getting her rooted so that <laughs> so that I don't sell her I'm gonna get her dressed um, I did take the time and detail inside of her mouth and everything with her painting. I, she's model, you know, it's a lot of stuff that you, you can't really pick up as much on the camera. And I kind of hate that sometimes, but that's why the doll shows are so important. And dolly meetups with your friends where you guys bring babies 
different babies and I forgot I need to get her a different diaper. Bear with me, guys. I am sorry, unprepared. Um, <clears throat> but doll meetups are so <clears throat> important because you get to see you get to see the dolls in person and you get to really know what it is that you like and don't like. <clears throat> and I do have lights so that you can see as much as possible from her. But, um, and she is a reborn. She's not silicone. Like, you know, people always ask stuff like that. Look at this. Um, but <clears throat> the light sometimes make me make my babies look a little shiny because when I paint my ethnic babies, <clears throat> unless I say ethnic, when I paint my African American babies, my, my black babies, I, I give them a little bit of sheen because I don't like an ashy dry black baby. So, um, when the light reflects on them on the camera, sometimes it comes across as if they might be a little shiny, but they're not shiny. They just have a, like a lotioned look you know um i don't like the plastic shiny look trust me so i don't i don't necessarily do that look but you know speaking of the lolas um i was watching <clears throat> i was watching uh another collect a video today and just a few minutes ago actually and I was just like wow you know it was really a really good uh, <clears throat> video um it was actually hey there spooky face and I watched that video and um she was just speaking about you know things when you make mistakes and stuff being a YouTube creator but you know I was thinking I thought I was thinking about that subject but then as I was thinking, I guess it kind of triggered other thoughts too. Um, you know, the thing about this community is it's a great community. Like, you know, any other community, it, you're going to have to find people that you vibe with, people that, you know, you guys, you know, great mind thinks, think alike type thing. Um, but, you know, the, the, the part that is very wicked about the community because let's face it it's good and bad in the community um <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> sorry 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 i do apologize is people tend to do a lot of behind the scenes um and when i say behind the scenes i'm not talking about like chatterbox oh let me take you you know, in a more private dolly space because everybody's welcome to join the chatterbox. Even if you don't like me, you're welcome to join the chatterbox. Even if I have you blocked, you're welcome to join the chatterbox. So it's not like it's that much of a secret, but it does keep it a little bit mainstream for, you know, doll people or people that actually like me. If, you know, if that's the reason they join or they just want to be Lola's. Um, but nevertheless, I'm talking about when people send, you know, private messages and, emails and and try to blackball you know somebody and you know when people you know you know it's it's people that literally try to bash other artists there's other artists that uh, that try to attack other artists like um in the background like they on the front they'd be like oh i love my people we should stand together support each other rah 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 and then soon as they get the first opportunity to talk to one of their customers or you know um any other like collector or another artist person they're like yeah she does such and such and such and this is faulty and this is this and this is that and they bad mouth people and sometimes you know to their their colleagues their peers like you know um artist to artist or collector to collector when you get through doing all that the person feels some type of way about the other person without you know even realizing that they've affected your thoughts and then it kind of sway you to you know and every you know everybody should have their own opinion and their own you know mindset but I mean come on guys let's be real we're human if you hear somebody and they give you a long story about how somebody wronged them you tell me you're gonna sit there and be inhuman and be like 
and, and, and it sounds valid, you know? It sounds like they're really telling you the whole story. They're telling you the truth. You're going to feel some type of way. You're going to be like, man, that person is just corrupt, you know? So when you get through doing that, you're really cautious of that person. You got your guard up now. You don't really want to deal with this person. <clears throat> and this person may or may not be everything that this other person told you they were but you've already been tainted and that's what the community does a lot behind the scenes especially if they feel threatened you know or they you know they feel intimidated i'm trying to figure out which way these tights go okay and they feel intimidated they feel like oh especially if they see some new talent coming up and they think this person might be you know growing or whatever they'd be like yeah but i heard her baby such and such and such you know that's that's how they do it and then the next thing you know, you're like, oh, I ain't taking a risk with that. And then you're seeing all these beautiful babies and these other people, like, enjoying the babies and stuff like that. And you're like, man, you're like, dang, I love that baby, though. I know you said she, 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 her babies don't, you know, they peel. I know you said her babies, you know, this, that, and the other happen. But, man, I really like the way they look, you know. And the collectors have them dressed so cute and they seem to be enjoying them, you know. But this other person in your ear that's supposed to be your friend telling you that, no, no, don't, don't, don't buy her stuff, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then that person spreads and then another person spreads what she said. No, I heard so-and-so said and such-and-such such said. And by the time you get done, you got all these people have given you these bad advice. So then guess what? You don't, you, you're not going to buy from this person or this other collector. or You're not going to watch this other collector videos because you got this feeling about them already before you even gave them a chance and then sometimes you then later you find out this stuff is not true and you missed out on tons of opportunities to own great dolls or tons of opportunities to meet somebody wonderful in the community let me tell you that is real and that's a lot of what goes on in the community and a lot of these people they sit back and they sound great up front but behind the scenes they're spewing so much hate it's like unbelievable so you know you got to be careful you know what i mean and you you got to look at people like why why would they say that i mean do they even have a reason you know sometimes it's like man they don't have a motive to say that so it, it, it must be true or you know, some truth to it. And then you got people that you're like, oh, yeah, they got into it because of such and such. So, yeah, she's probably just saying that because blah, 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 blah. Let me see if I get a little closer to her little face so you guys can see. Look at that little girl. I love her. I love, 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 love. It's very, very challenging for me to get the um, darker skin complexions. Um exactly like I want it and I'm I'm working on that day by day because when you do it's so rewarding um it's a beautiful thing it's kind of like painting silicone for me when you paint silicone it's like it's tedious it's, it's a little chat it's a lot, very challenging um it's, it don't, don't come like one two three with like re reborn in the vinyl but when you finish the silicone the the, the reward is so far greater you know type thing so yeah um but yeah so yeah you have to be careful what you taking in to um and then you have to have an open mind and then you have to kind of look at things for yourself if you're in here trying to socialize if not this stuff don't matter to you you just here for the dolls and you're just gonna watch the videos and you don't care if you like them personally or you know if they're around here you know throwing daggers at other people or not you just dare to watch the dolls i mean i watched a video today um of someone that i'm not particularly fond of but they were showing some really cute babies and i was admiring their their outfits and their style of their dolls and stuff and i was just like man i just enjoyed that particular video i mean is that a crime girl what <laughs> so i'm like you know sometimes too we take it too deep you know I mean, let it just be what it is, you know? I, that's why, like, for me, I don't have time to be saying, you got to be on Team A. You can't be on Team B because I ain't going to lie. If I want to watch a video, I'm going to watch a video. So if my girlfriend or my, you know, my friends are saying, 
hey chick, I just watched so and such video, girl, I guess what, blah, 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 blah. Or I, I happen to scroll by and I see them comment on this video that I don't particularly like. I'm not going to be like, we can't be friends no more. Because I saw your comment, girl. I saw your comment. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be like, just moseing on. I might read their comment just to see what they thought of the, the video or whatever. But, you know, it's, it is what it is. Because, you know, for me, like I said, I... Even today, I, I and it's the first time I've done this in years, but I watched this person's channel and I watched, you know, I, I, I liked what they were showing. It was calming. It was relaxing. It was, you know, something for me to do while I was doing something else. And I, I enjoyed it. I won't lie. Now, will I be giving them shout outs and disclosing who that person was? No, absolutely not. But, you know, the common ground here is the dolls, you know, the first thing. Some of us have a lot more other things in common and we connect beyond the dolls and that's cool too. But you're not going to connect with everybody on a personal level like that. And I think that's where the problem is. Everybody think just because you're a dolly friend that you have to be a friend friend. And it's two different levels. It's two different operations there. I mean, you know, you don't have to be like all chummy with somebody. Now, if somebody really offend you and make you feel some type of way yeah then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna support that I'm not watching your channel I'm not you know I'm not having nothing to do with you I'm not affiliating with you in no type of you know way but you know if it, it's nothing directly at me I mean hey if I want to watch a video I'm gonna watch a video like I don't know I but I I see people, you know, saying, why are you watching this video? Why are you doing this? You're supporting this. You're you're making them great. Okay, well, guess what? They made me great because I enjoyed the dang old video. Sorry. <laughs> so, anyway, I am done. I will talk to you guys later. Um, this pacifier is a Jolly Pop, I think. Uh, Yeah. Um, and it's, it's a, it's a very little nipple. That nipple is so skinny. And so it is one that I found that goes the whole nipple and it slides right into her mouth. And I like that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the chat. I'll talk to you later. Now go on out there and be great Lolas. <laughs> bye bye Lolas. Oh yeah. Get your merch.